Hi guys, so probably you are installing the latest Windows 11 on your laptop and this scenario normally occurs on 10th generation laptops and above. So you are installing Windows 11, then once you reach this interface, you can't see that part where it's always written. You don't have internet so that you can, you can create a local account. So instead you are stuck right here. So in most of the cases, what we've been doing previously, we've been using Shift and F10 just to open this CMD and then we normally use the OBE bypass NRO method and uh, probably you try that and it's not working actually let's just try that first on this machine so you can understand what I mean by that so the OBE that is your right O let me just tap on it there so we put O and then O OBE then bypass in a row so once you've written that see OBE bypass in a row I think it's visible enough and then you hit on enter so if I hit on enter like that the laptop is going to restart yeah and uh, we are going to be taken back to the initial page where we were for some cases that might work, you might see that option whereby you don't have internet so that you can create a local account. So let's wait and see what happens. I didn't want to cut this video so that you see uh, the raw part of what you're trying to solve right here. So let's give it time. Just be patient. Let's just be patient as it starts. Remember, I'm using Lenovo T14s. And as you wait, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this account. I always and do always appreciate your support to this account. By you subscribing and leaving a like to this video, if you find this video useful, it will be very important to me, guys. So once again, let's wait. We'll have to wait a bit. It's taking longer than expected, but... Uh, that's what you'll experience if you use that criteria now the windows tab is opening up let's see so you see it's unfortunate we don't have that uh, i don't have internet option popping up so what you do again now this solution is definitely going to work because this is the latest method that's going to bypass that uh, signing in by creating an online account now so what you do once again is Control, okay, not control, but use Shift and F10. Again, Shift and F10. And then once the CMD pops up, now this is what you write. Start, first click on it there so that the cursor starts typing. So you write Start, right there. And then leave a space. Then MS, like that. And then you put a dash. Then you write C, X, H, then you put semicolon there, and then you put local only. Local only. Let me just zoom in the command so that you see. I'll put the command in the comment section so that you can use it. Yeah. Let me just, yeah, see. So this is what you do. And then once you take that and you've confirmed it's the right, the right one, click on enter. Then this is going to pop up very simple so right here what you do is just create a local account you can use your username just anything that you want or what you are thinking of naming your pc so in my case i'll just name it kingston kingston churchill yeah my name subscribe guys so once you've done that i can go ahead and put password but this one normally takes time because you'll be asked so many questions you place the password later after that just come here and click here click next or just hit on enter so if you click on next like that yeah just a moment and then you see what's happening getting ready wait for the setup let's give it uh, some time yeah this might take a few minutes almost there uh, it's taking longer let me just see uh, it's not that bad let's just wait it's 
So remember how fast this process is. It's normally determined by the type of laptop that you're having. If you're having a fast machine, then the process will be much faster than mine is. And uh, right there we are, guys. We've signed in. We have the account. You can see my username right over here. You can see the username there. And just to confirm Windows, you just come to System, the Windows that we have. And uh, you can see here we are running. Let me just bring... Let me just drag it down a bit somewhere here. Yeah, you can see we have Windows 11 22H2. Remember, this works with all the versions of Windows 11, even 24H2, 23H2. This method works with all of them. So we have it Windows 11 Pro installed, and uh, we are good to go. We have a local account. So from there, you can proceed to putting in your online account or just use a local account as I am doing right now. And just before you sign out guys, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support you've given me so far. We are currently at 1.4k subscribers and I love that number to reach 2k subscribers and I strongly believe in you guys. If you're not yet subscribed to this account and you find the content in this account so helpful, why don't you leave a like on this particular video and don't forget to hit on that subscribe button. See you next time on another one. Enjoy the rest of your day.